Okay, who doesn't like crispy things like crispy fries, crispy chips, crispy everything? Like if it gets a little soggy, we're like, ugh, no, we're not gonna eat it. So why doesn't that analogy apply to making videos as well? Well, it does. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get some crispy looking videos and not go is after you finish editing your video. Let's get onto the computer and see what it's all about. All right, so here I have my latest short film on the timeline. It's just the MP4 file, not the actual project file, but this should work. And if you have not watched my latest short film, what are you doing with your life? Go in the description down below. It's gonna be the first link. Go watch it. First watch this tutorial and then go and watch my short film. So now make sure your sequence is actually selected and as usual just go up to file and then export and then media. So it's you like I have it at best render settings which is the settings that I'm going to show you right now. Yours is probably going to be one of these the pre select the pre installed like presets. So maybe it's going to be matte source hide the trick. So now let's start from here. You can start from here if you want. You can choose matte source high bitrate and then we can start. Make sure that the format is H.264. That's usually the one that I use. So that's basically what I'm going to be showing you. So the first thing that you need to change is make sure you have use maximum render quality checked. And on under the video panel right here on the video setting, go down, scroll down, make sure render at maximum depth is selected and down here where it says encoding settings make sure that the performance is not usually at hardware encoding but change it to software encoding and then these check marks that you see down here just click on it both of them make sure that the profile is at high and the level is around um, 5.1 5.2 let's just choose 5.2 for now and then you have to go down and here are the bitrate settings and this is very important the bitrate encoding usually it's said vbr one pass but we're going to do two passes so for example if your video usually would render in one pass in like five minutes it's just now going to take 10 minutes because it's just going to double but this is going to give you a much much better quality so for the target bitrate i'm going to change it to around um let's say 30 30 let's just change it to 30 and the maximum bitrate let's just keep it at 30 as well yeah so that's actually like pretty much it you're done and then after you export it as you can see the estimated file size just changed i think it was at it had like 600 something and now it's like 1100 so it's it's a much much more higher quality and now you have to sacrifice memory space of course but the quality is going to be much much better like i said it's going to be super crispy and you're going to see a huge difference if you follow these steps then your footage will turn from a potato to a crispy french fry or chips however you like to call it so take these tips and run with it and then you're gonna end up with some really really crispy video and if you want to know the trick to have crispy photos for instagram then i'm gonna leave a link in the description of himal's video of him explaining that exactly so that's been it thank you for watching and i'll see you next year yeah that makes more sense for me yeah